Mr. Hull, yes. we are here <laughs> for some stints and stops and what do we think the GMR Grand Prix, how's it going to play out, historic yellows, it could rain, I'm putting all the pressure on you, Mike, uh -huh. to tell us what you think might happen, what traditionally happens in terms of lengths of stints, all these kinds of things to get our, our Listeners, uh, readers, thought, and otherwise. Yeah, I thought I was up. in a growing spurt, but now I found out there's so much pressure I'm not. Yes. The yes. Uh, uh, 85 laps, first of all, uh, come rain or come shine. Uh, we've been really fortunate today with practice, and it looks like qualifying we're going to be dry when the uh, pessimists said we were going to be rained on all day. Yeah. And, uh, the uh, Firestone people were freaking out about the quantity of rain tires, but I think we're going to be good there. Uh, tomorrow, 85 laps, as I said. Uh, you could divide, it's going to be three stops. In the past, historically, there have been some really brave people that have tried to do it with two stops. Well, at the end of the race, because there's so, the yellow is so infrequent, uh, you're, you're having to save so much fuel that you just back up. You back up, back up, back up, back up, and uh, uh, it's not productive. So three stops, pretty liberal or big windows, but Allows you to stay in the throttle You can stay in well. the throttle, you can actually race here. Uh, the denominator that you always have is going to be the, the tire, tire deg, um, because you lose lap time quickly on either tire, not just one versus the other. Firestone primary or alternate? It doesn't matter. It's, it's just the way it works here. Uh, it, a lot of frick, a lot of... A lot of grain, a lot of grating, yeah. a lot of friction that, yeah. that's wearing on those yeah. tires quickly. We, we kind of think it's because they diamond cut the straightaways mm. and uh, versus with a road racing tire versus what we do with the rest of the racetrack, but that's just our opinion. Either way, the Firestone tires hold up. They just, the car just slows down. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, I think historically here, there might've been four or five, 6% yellow. Two years brought, have brought that average up, but those were years when we had rain. Uh, so tomorrow we're not gonna have rain. <laughs> Uh, so uh, we expect maybe one or two yellows at the very most if they would block the racetrack. But, but the safety guys here, the MR guy, AMR guys, can get to the car pretty easily without yeah. causing a full course yellow. So uh, it's it'll the be big an exciting race. The one thing you do do here is you lose almost 40 seconds in the pit lane when you yeah. stop under green. Uh, so for a 70 second lap, uh, that, that's a lot of real estate to have to make up. So you want to be pitting uh, processionally with the people you're racing with, wherever that might be. Uh, so we'll work on that. Uh, we've finished at the front, stopping as early as lap 10. And we've stopped at the front, finishing as late as lap 26, 27, 28. So you probably want to do lap 28, uh, lap 60, and get to the end. Thinking about tires, I don't know if I'd say first and foremost, but you're thinking heavily about tire life. If you have a bad qualifying day and you need to go to an alternate strategy, you certainly can, but a strategy where you're praying for yellows to save you. Historically, again, anything could happen, but we at least know trend-wise. Uh, risky strategy, trying to get from the back to the front, praying for yellows to be the thing to do that. That's a bit of a gamble, so. I, I think if you look back at the races on maybe YouTube, uh, or maybe Marshall Pruitt uh, no. YouTube. No, um, no. If you look back, look at what Will Power did here a few years ago, or yeah. look what Dixon did here a few years ago. Yeah, that, that would be a good uh, preview for what you may see tomorrow. All right, 85 laps of racing, GMR Grand Prix. Then we get into the real month of May, Mike. Thanks again. Everything this weekend brought to us, by the way, Vintage Motorsport Magazine. Check it out. Thank you.